As we jump into our next session, I think is going to be interesting for a lot of people because we all obviously are on YouTube all the time. We are. Seeing videos. And also we hear about a lot of people who are making money as YouTubers. Yeah. Doing different things. Absolutely. So you mentioned your YouTube channel is not quite where you want it to be yet. No, I don't even want to talk about it. So that's why we <laughs> need to bring on JIT. <laughs> Our next guest, JIT Pudu, is the founder of Ideas and Inspiration, an initiative to motivate people towards self-development, mental wellness, positive change. He is also a pro on YouTube and um, thinking about growing your YouTube channel to a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours in under a year that's awesome let's talk to jit now about that jit welcome to the show great to see you great to be here glenn thanks for having me once again and hi cindy hello jit so good to see you <laughs> so jit we are all fascinated by youtube i think one of the stats that you sent me was um what is it a 2 billion active users and a billion hours of video being watched every day. That just yeah. boggles the mind, doesn't it? Yeah, that's crazy, actually. You know, and I think a lot of us, uh, you know, we, we're used to consuming content on YouTube because that's like the go-to place for video content these days, right? Mm. You know, but we're not aware that that YouTube is actually, it's it's that big. There's two over billion active users and one billion hours being watched every day, you know, and, and these are stats that can be found on the YouTube website itself. These are released every year and these numbers are just growing, you know. So so this is the thing I think that a lot of us are not aware of because uh, the reality is uh, YouTube is the number two search engine in the world after Google. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, wow. and who owns and who owns YouTube? Google, <laughs> you know, so, so you know, they've got one and two covered, and uh, and that is the reason why a lot of content creators put their content up on YouTube because you know it, it can be found, you know, if you do the right things, if you if you get the parameters right, you know, your your content can be found. We just had uh, Andrew Chow yeah. put up your YouTube channel link in our Facebook Live uh, oh. chat section. So if, the, if those of you that are on Facebook Live want to see JIT's channel, you can go ahead and just click on that link that's that's there. And JIT, what are the what are I know there's a couple of different financial models around YouTube. Yep. Everyone says, "Oh, create content, put content on all that." Yeah. But what what is the point? What are we trying to do in terms of a financial model if you are going to be a YouTuber? Okay, so um, being a YouTube content creator, first of all, this let me just break one myth that you cannot earn money on YouTube. That's a myth. You can earn money on YouTube and you can earn a lot of money on YouTube. Uh, a couple of years ago, there was a news report out. I think a lot of us would have read this where the highest earning YouTuber for the year 2019, um, 2019 or 2020 was an eight-year-old boy who made $28 million <laughs> a year just on YouTube. And this is just on YouTube ad revenues, you know. So to answer your question, right. uh, Glenn, there are many different ways you can make money on YouTube. You know, it could be sponsored contents where, you know, if you have a big enough subscriber base, you know, people are going to uh, sponsor you to do little shout outs of their products or their services, kind of like an influencer. You know, you mm -hmm. can make money through, through sponsorship, through product placements. You could have membership sites. You could be selling programs or courses and using YouTube, right, to reach more people. Uh, but the one that I want to talk to you about, which is what I think all of us should strive to achieve, is to be a YouTube partner, you know, to be part of the YouTube partner program where we can earn revenue through advertisements, you know. So every time we go to YouTube and we are watching a video, ever notice that sometimes on certain videos, before the video starts, there's actually an ad that comes on that you can right. skip after five seconds. Yep. Yeah. So advertisers are paying YouTube to place that advertisement before the video. And YouTube now shares the revenue with the content creator. So if your channel mm -hmm. qualifies for monetization, guess what? You are now earning through the advertisements that is being played before your video. And that's a great and thing. Is, so what do you have to do to qualify, though, to be to All be right. at that level? Yeah. So uh, in the past, it was a lot easier. But as time goes on, you know, they are making uh, the requirements a bit more stringent right now. And as of now, to qualify to be part of the YouTube partner program, you need a minimum of 1000 subscribers 
and 4,000 watch hours. So only when you hit both of these criteria can you then apply to be part of the YouTube Partner Program. And then YouTube will check and see, you know, if your channel meets their community guidelines and if everything mm -hmm. is okay. And then they accept you into the program. And then you can turn on ads and you can start making money right away. You know, but 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, this is the milestone that you want to hit. And this is generally the milestone that is the toughest for a lot of people. You know, yeah. but once you hit that 1,000 and 4,000 watch hours, right, and then you realize that your channel is going to get a bit more visibility, you know, uh, it's going to be suggested to more people, and, and you will start getting in those views, and you will start seeing some organic growth after that. But before that, you know, we've got to put in the work, and that's the other myth that I think we all must be aware of. If YouTube, con if, uh, YouTube content creation is a path that we are looking at, I think the myth is that uh, being a YouTube content creator is easy. Uh, it really mm. isn't easy. It can be easy, but it's a lot of hard work. And I think we must be um, we must be open to realize that, that, that we've got to put in the work because that 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 yeah. watch hours can take a while. But I think if we do the right thing, and that is <clears throat> basically what I want to share as well, right? If we do the right things, this can be achieved in under a year. It is mm. very possible. Wow. We're talking with Jit Pudu, the founder of Ideas and Inspiration. Yeah. So thank you for all that sharing, Jit. You know, this is really exciting for, you know, people who are thinking about becoming YouTubers. And, you know, it's it's really interesting when you mention about that eight-year-old boy who's earning $28 million. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the reason why both my nieces are not really wanting to study. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm very surprised, you know, because uh, my, my nephew is in P1 now. And yeah. when he finished his, his preschool graduation, and they did a little video uh, just interviewing all these preschoolers before they go into P1. And I think there was about 12 kids in the class. And when they asked that standard question, like, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? Of course, you get your astronauts and your doctors and your engineers and your scientists. But about three of them say they want to be YouTube. They want to be YouTubers, <laughs> you know, and these are preschoolers, you know, so I get your things. Indeed. You know, we should have thought about that when we were much younger. So yeah. one question that I have for you, Jit, is for somebody who's kind of starting out with, you know, wanting to kind of make a, kind of create a brain, brand for themselves on YouTube. What are okay. some of the things that, the first five things that they probably need to do to get started? Okay, um, this is actually a very interesting question, Cindy, and it's a very important question because um, planning is everything. If you want to have a successful YouTube channel, you've got to plan for that, especially if you want to monetize your channel and add, to add revenues. You know, you need your subscribers, you need your watch hours, right? So planning is important. So I would say, right, if you want to be a YouTube content creator, meaning if you want to start making videos for your channel, the first thing you must decide on is, what what is going to be the theme of the channel what is going to be the kind of content you're going to create one of the worst things you can do is not having a theme and just making uh content all over the place you know mm. uh, kind of like you know th there's no one specific theme you know maybe this week yeah what you're doing is about a, a vlog about your life tomorrow you're just sharing a snippet of maybe you know you giving a speech somewhere else and the next week you're doing a video where you're interviewing someone else but there's no uh thread or theme, theme no theme thread, thread. sort of no going theme at all so yeah. what happens is that right this confuses your viewers you know you've got to look at yourself as um if we want to look back uh think of ourselves as a traditional uh media channel okay so think about this when people come to money fm you know what is the theme of Money FM? You know, I think the name says it all. It's about uh, money, it's about finance. And people know that uh, about maybe 70, 80% of the time, uh, people are going to get finance related stuff. And then there are the other things along the way, you know, but the theme is very clear. So your YouTube channel has got to have that similar thing where, where when people come to your channel, they must get about 70 to 80 percent of the time consistent content uh, sorry content that is consistent with your theme this is how you grow your channel mm -hmm. uh so i would say the first thing is identify what's going to be the kind of content you're going to make so is it going to be something educational if it's going to be educational okay what is it that you want to educate there's this one channel that i just checked out uh yesterday a friend sent it to me it's about learning english you know so if you're not um if you're not if English is not your first language, this is a channel where you can go and learn English. And, and every channel, every video on that channel teaches you something about learning English. And, you know, you can, you can have a lot of content. 
this channel has got 5.2 million subscribers. And guess wow. what? These are active subscribers because these are all people who want to speak English and don't speak English as a first language. You know, so it's so targeted that, that people know that this channel is for that and they start sharing it. So uh, first, I would say identify your theme. Next, I would say uh, create a list of topics before you even shoot your first video. You know, have at least about 30 topics in hand first. List it mm. down at least 30 topics before you shoot your first video because you don't want to get into this spot where you shoot a video and then you start thinking about, okay, what's going to be my next video? What's going to be my next video? And, and you're going to run out of brain juice, you know, very fast. Mm. So create a <laughs> list. Yeah, create a list. Uh, then third, you've got to go and look for your uh, subscribers and your audience. Okay, remember this, right? I told you the milestone is 1,000 subscribers. There is another milestone before 1,000 subscribers. That is actually 100 subscribers. Your first 100 subscribers, it's got to be all you. Trust me, it's got to be all you. YouTube is not going to help promote your channel, suggest your channel, suggest your videos until mm. you get at least about 100 subscribers because, you know, there are so many content creators there, right? And yeah. again, there are so many content creators who are not putting in the work, who are not creating the content. So YouTube wants to see you put in some work first before they actually want to help you, you know? So that first 100 subscribers, you have got to go out and search for the subscribers. So where do you search for the subscribers? So naturally, uh, it's always friends and family first. You know, you would, you would ask them. Uh, but then again, you've got your other social media platforms where you can maybe put it up on Facebook, your Instagram. You want to have your YouTube channel handles everywhere. Uh, you want to be active on other YouTube communities as well. So for example, if there is a channel similar to what you are trying to do, you want to uh, subscribe to that channel, you want to follow that channel, and you want to look out for people who are posting questions on this channel where you can actively take part in mm -hmm. that conversation. You are not there to spam the other channel. You're not there to hijack uh, traffic from the other channel going saying that, hey, you know, guys, I've just made a video that will answer this question. Check out my channel. Here's the link. Uh, YouTube frowns yeah. upon that and content creators frown upon that. You get into spam really fast and you can even get blocked. But you want to be an active yeah. um, user in that sense that you want to really go and add value. So if someone asks a question, let your expertise do the marketing. Go there and share the answers and people are going to be curious. Hey, uh, who is this person? And then they're going to click on your link and they're going to come to your channel and then there's going to be videos there for them to watch. So this is how you can nice. organically grow your traffic. Uh, Cindy wanted five. That was three. Uh, okay, here's one important Only thing. Only you have time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one important thing. Um, a lot of content creators, when you're new, uh, they tend to do one video at a time because they want to see, okay, what is the feedback going to be, whether I'm on the right path, where people like it, people don't like it. Okay, here's a word of advice. When your channel is really new, you're probably going to get only three or four views, and that's going mm. to be friends and family. Remember, 100 subscribers is the milestone, right? Um, mm. But what you want to start doing right away is this. Imagine going to a channel. Let's just say you go to Netflix, all right? And Netflix only had one show for you to watch, and that one show only had one episode. How frustrating would that be? Yeah, you know, because people today are used to content and they want a lot of content right away. So if you have a new channel, my advice is this, have at least 10 videos ready and start your channel with 10 videos because give people mm -hmm. the variety. You know, remember we talked about 4,000 watch hours, all right? Every yeah. video counts the watch hours. So if you only have 10 minutes and one video, which is worth 10 minutes, people can only watch 10 minutes. But if you have 10 videos up on your channel when it starts and each mm. video is about 10 to 15 minutes, hey, that's a lot. That's watch hours there already. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. you, my advice is shoot at least 10 videos, you know, okay, eight to 10 videos at least, get them edited, put them up nicely, and then. Uh, upload these 10 videos, then launch your channel so that people have mm -hmm. something to watch. And these 10 videos must follow the theme of your channel, all right? And my last tip is this. Um, yep. Pay attention to your thumbnails. Thumbnails matters, all right? Thumbnails so, matters. What do you mean by that? Okay. Um, ever heard of the saying, never judge a book by the cover? Yep. Yeah, but how many of us go to a bookstore and the first thing we look pick up is a book that looks attractive and looks nice? <laughs> you know, we, we don't. So in fact, we are we are always we are always judging always the book by its cover. It, it's human nature. Yeah. It's psychology. So same thing on on the YouTube channel, right? The thumbnails is what people see first. That's like the book cover for your videos. Uh, spend time to make good. 
thumbnails, you know. So how do you make good thumbnails? You know, go and look at all these channels who are doing very well. Look at what they are doing and model excellence from there. Uh, these days, we've you don't have to be a graphic designer to make attractive thumbnails. You can go to Canva and and you can do it so easily. But what you're going to need is some ideas, right? And this mm. is where you're going to look at other thumbnails that are attractive. Look at the kind of thumbnails that you are attracted to when you are on YouTube and try to model excellence, right? So th thumbnails. Uh, matters because it helps with clickability. So there are two things. There's clickability and searchability. Uh, searchability is your title, your video titles. It must be SEO friendly. Remember, uh, YouTube is a search engine and they are the mm, second yeah. largest search engine after Google. And because Google owns YouTube, when people are searching even on Google, YouTube videos are going to show up. So because of that, right, your title and your descriptions matter. It must mm. be SEO friendly. It must be search engine optimized. So uh, my advice is don't, don't use vague, fancy, unique titles. You know, Be straight to the point. If your video is, let's just say, how to make money, then that should be the title, how to make money. If your video right. is, you know, how to, how to shave uh, in under five minutes, then that's what the video title should be, you know? <laughs> and then, so that helps with searchability and your thumbnail photos uh, help with clickability because again, when people are searching for content, right, there's going to be yeah. at least 100, 200 results that's going to come out. What's going to make the viewer decide to click on your video? That's going yeah. to be your thumbnail photo. Jit, this is so interesting. We, we do have to leave it there, but um, if people want to find you and get more information from you directly, uh, where, where should they look for you? Uh, I mean, uh, do check out the Ideas and Inspiration YouTube channel. You know, you can connect with me there. I'm on LinkedIn as well. You can come to LinkedIn. Uh, I've got my Instagram, so you can follow me and just send me messages there as well. Yeah. Beautiful. Jit Puru, founder of Ideas and Inspiration. Thanks, Jit, for being with us again. Always great to have you on the show. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you, Thanks Jit. for having Good me. To see Thanks, you. Cindy. <laughs> Have a great Bye. day. <laughs> I'm I'm inspired. I am too.